I'm trying to update this kitchen for as little money as possible. And when I saw this old discolored fluorescent tube light under the cabinet, I thought it was a no-brainer that I should just remove having a light there altogether. But when I saw the hard wiring and the fact that it had its own light switch, I decided to make use of the wiring and replace it with another light. I didn't want to deal with moving the location of the wires even just a little because I didn't want to deal with any drywall repair. So I decided to try out this inexpensive wall sconce. I'm going to show you how easy it was to install the sconce and how it looks under the cabinet. This looks really nice. It's made of acrylic but totally looks and even feels like frosted glass. See the small screws that I'm taking off right now to take off the mounting bracket? These will be used later to reattach the light fixture to the mounting bracket. This is a light fixture mounting bracket, also known as a ring plate. These items for installing the sconce were included in the box. The power to these wires have been turned off at the breaker panel in the basement. See how the wires are coming out of a hole that's not in the center of this back wall? To work with this, I trimmed, stripped, and then bent the wires to allow them to fit through the side of the ring plate since the wires can't come out from the center of the ring plate because the ring plate will be centered on the back wall. Now I'm going to install these drywall anchors for the screws. I'm drilling the holes for the anchors. and then hammering in the anchors. Now I'm installing the ring plate. And again, normally the wires should be coming out from the center of the ring, but I'm pulling them through from the side, and that's okay because the light box will be covering them anyway. So here's the LED light sconce that I'm going to install. I taped down the ballast with black electrical tape. The wires are not color coded as black and white. Fortunately, they label the wires as L and N, which stand for load wire and neutral wire respectively. So the load wire is the hot wire. I'm connecting the ground wire coming out of the wall with the yellow wire attached to the ring plate. Now I'm connecting the blue neutral wire to the white wire. and I'm connecting the brown load wire to the black wire. Now I'm mounting the light fixture with a screw going through the light box and the ring plate at the very top and at the very bottom of the light box. Remember I pointed out these small screws earlier. Here's a close-up of the screws that I hand-tightened.
I'm finishing up the job using screwdrivers now. I don't know about you, but I think the sconce looks nice. And for around $15, this was a good purchase. And it turns on to light up the sink.